right, it is the next day here. I did get the car all masked off yesterday like you saw. I had to pull this car in here for overnight. Um, but today I'm actually going to plan on painting the car. So it's the big day and I've got a lot to do still. So I've, I've got a lot of masking to do on the garage. I do want to sit, cover all this stuff up so the dust on it does not kick back whenever I'm spraying a lot of paint around. Uh, I'll, I, hopefully I'll be able to get a piece of plastic up uh, to section off the gym part of the garage because there's a lot of parts over there that I really haven't touched and I didn't clean that area as well. So I'm going to try to knock out all this stuff as best I can, as quick as I can. That way whenever uh, the warmest part of the day hits, I'll be ready to start throwing down some paint. Well, for the sake of time and me trying to figure out exactly where to put everything, I went ahead and got another table set up and I've got the door handles and the gas lid on it. And I really wasn't thinking about the mirrors, the fact that I've got to paint all the way around them. So I've got my ladder set up here. I'll probably mask off some of this part of the ladder. That way I don't get paint all over it. But I taped them up. That way I can spin them around and paint uh, all the way around those. Um, next step for me to do is clean everything up. I'm going to get the vacuum out. And I'm going to vacuum the floor again. I'm going to wipe everything down. But before I do that, over here on my air compressor, I've got a little cheap Harbor Freight air and oil separator. And it's got some desiccant in there. And that desiccant's been in there for a while. So I'm going to swap that out with some, some dry desiccant that I just dried out uh, in my oven inside the house. It's blue. The stuff that's in there is pink. That means it's got moisture in it. So the last thing I want to do is get moisture um, from the air compressor into the paint because it will fish eye and it really won't look good at all. It's just going to be a huge pain. So hopefully that will help reduce some of the uh, water in the air compressor and it gets through the air line. I don't have a, an air desiccant filter on my air line at the end of where the paint gun goes. So there is a chance that I can get some moisture, but the temperature in here is pretty warm. I've been running the heat all night long. So I've got it turned off now because of all this plastic that I've got put up. It's actually on the other side of the plastic there. I've still got a doorway because I've got some other things in there that I need to get to like the vacuum and other stuff like that. But for now, I'm gonna swap this desiccant out and then we'll work our way toward cleaning the floor again and just get everything ready uh, to spray. saw me get these down earlier 
Uh, these are actually air filters that I used on the last paint job I did. I went ahead and just stuck them back in here. Uh, they're like 16 by 20. Uh, I use these to line the bottom of the garage door. Uh, I think I'm going to do this, something very similar this time. But last time I ended up sticking uh, two box fans in the open door. And I think I got a little bit of dust in here because of that. So what I'm going to do is I'll probably leave that door shut. And I'm going to stick uh, four box fans on one side and then the fi air filters all the way on the other side of the bottom of the garage door. It's not perfect because the airflow is just going to kind of circle out, but it will be better than getting a bunch of dust in here. So this morning I actually picked up two more box fans because I already have two. So I'm going to open these up and get them set up. See what this thing will do. All right, I'm going to go through real quick what I'm going to be using. So you saw the other day that I'm actually going to be using the, the Chromax Chroma Base uh, base coat. That's the silver paint for the car. It, it's actually an L5 grade Volkswagen uh, 1994 paint coat. So we'll see what it looks like when we spray it out. The clear coat is the same stuff I used on my black CRX. It's the Imperium uh, Axo Nobel uh, Euro Clear. So it's got a medium hardener with it. The temperature outside is about 65 degrees, so it's pretty decent temperature to paint. It's a little cooler than it needs to be, I think just by about 10 degrees, 5 or 10 degrees, but it'll be perfectly fine. I painted the black CRX, and it was probably 50 degrees outside, so it, it turned out really nice. So we'll see how this one turns out. Now the paint gun is the Harbor Freight uh, Spectrum HDE compliant paint gun. So I use this for base and clear. It did a good job on the black CRX, so I have no reason uh, not to use it uh, on the silver one. So that's what we'll be using here. Now I've just got some uh, lacquer thinner to help clean up the paint gun in between uh, coats. And I've also got just a uh, scrap paint can to empty out my uh, excess and cleaning uh, solvents. And I just use a central pneumatic, the Harbor Freight uh, paint strainers. All right, moving over to the air compressor. I'm just going to be using the Craftsman 33-gallon oil-free air compressor. My wife actually got me this for my birthday not long ago. Um, I'm going to be using, like I talked about before, the Harbor Freight oil and uh, water separator. It's just, it's not a real expensive device. It's just cheap insurance to help prevent oil and water from getting into the paint as I spray. Now, I've got a long hose here. It's a, I think it's a 50-foot, maybe 100-foot hose. Uh, I'm not going to use that because as the air travels through, the hot air travels through that hose, it'll cool down, and as it cools down, the moisture in the air will condense, and it'll co form condensation and water droplets, and you don't want that getting to your paint gun and causing fish eyes in the paint. Now, we're not going to be using this long hose. We're actually going to be using this 25-foot hose to help prevent that condensation from forming to hopefully get the best result possible. Now, with everything positioned where I want it, 
the last thing I need to do before paint is to actually just wipe it down with wax and grease remover. Um, actually, I didn't show you that, but it's actually just a Rust-Oleum wax and tar remover. I'll link it down in the description below. It's really good stuff. It'll, it'll wipe off any oils that are on the surface from handling it with, uh, without gloves on. So that's definitely a must because if you have uh, finger oil or any kind of oil on there, the paint will not stick and it'll fish eye. And you don't want that because you'll have to sand it down and repaint it. Now you may have seen that red bucket that I have in here on the floor. That's actually a bucket full of water. I'm going to use that water to, to pour on the floor to help keep the dust settled down uh, while I paint. So let's move over to the workbench, uh, get some wax and grease remover and start wiping everything down. Okay, since I'm not going to be spraying silver paint on this hood, I don't want any overspray to get on here, so I'm gonna have to mask it off. That way I can unmask it once I get all the silver painted, and then we can clear coat everything. Okay, let's open up this base coat and check it out. Okay, this is a one-to-one -one mix ratio with the base and the reducer. Okay, with the paint mixed up and everything ready, I'm gonna go ahead and pour some water on the floor and then tack rag everything and get the dust off.
Okay, I've got three coats of base put on, so I'm gonna move on to clear coat. Now, this is a two to one mixing ratio. I mean, it's not perfect, but I wasn't expecting this show car. So there are some spots that I'll have to buff out, maybe sand some dirt out, but nothing that I haven't dealt with before. On my black CRX, I had to do the same thing. It was probably worse on the black one. This one, it's not as noticeable because it's silver. So it's looking pretty good. There's a couple little spots um, on the over here on the passenger side. All right, this is what I'm talking about. I got a couple runs right here on the passenger door. There's one here and here. But there's a razor blade trick. Go perpendicular to the panel and scrape once it's all dry and cured. You should be able to get that out pretty easily. And that's what I'm gonna end up doing on that. Now, there is a few little dirt specks and some lint and things like that uh, all around the car. Uh, that's just stuff that you know, you're gonna have in the garage like this. I mean, you've still got dirt and lint. This is not a paint booth with the type of airflow that a paint booth has. done I'm really just gonna have to let this set up and cure I mean the next step will be to pull off some of this masking and I probably need to do that before it fully cures that way the the hard tape lines uh, don't peel the paint off so that'll be what I do next 
But that'll be the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, leave some comments down in the comment section. Let me know what you think about this paint job. Did I really screw it up? Did I do a pretty decent job here in the garage? I think it turned out pretty nice considering all the conditions I'm in. But stick around to the next one and we're going to clean this up and start putting this thing together before you know it.